once again, this is David Mohammad uh, I'm coming with another um, design exercise. Um, this time, we are going to design um, the centrifugal compressor in the MATLAB. Uh, this is some kind of uh, numerical design and some iterative procedures. Uh, we have some input data, such as flow, flow rate, total uh, inlet pressure, inlet total pre and temperature, outlet total pressure, average adiabatic, adiabatic efficiency, rotor relay thickness, rotor outlet flow angle. This is some kind of a constraint for our uh, design because uh, someone asked us it must be lower than 70 degree. So the inlet temperature after intercooler is around 35 and uh, maximum inlet temperature in the intercooler. This is another constraint for our exercise around the 110. And we consider no pressure loss in intercooler. So let's go to the MATLAB and then follow the procedure that I have done to uh, design this <coughs> compressor. First, first of all, I uh, insert all the uh, input data here, but I also consider the heat capacity ratio, gamma 1.4, and the air capacity. Uh, as also, I consider the air as a ideal, as a perfect gas, ideal gas for our exercise, and the gas constant is 287 kilojoule kilogram Kelvin our tolerance for our iteration is very very uh, low <coughs> it's around uh, 1 for 10 power of zero, zero, uh, minus 5 and this epsilon is a clearance of the machine uh, first of all I convert all the temperature and pressure to the Kelvin and the Pascal because I had bar here and the data, I have 20, 20 uh, degrees centigrade and four bar, okay? <clears throat> pressure ratio calculation. First of all, we need to calculate the pressure ratio. What is the pressure ratio? Uh, what I have is total, total pressure and total, of course, the ratio of the total, mm, total pressure. So for the first stage, the beta pressure ratio for the first stage is these expressions and by this some kind of calculations this is Euler work real work which is done by the compressors first stage this is the check of the uh, the temperature which is lower than the constraint one <coughs> Okay, then I start our design <coughs> procedure with the Balier diagram, with an, one statistical diagram, which is started about the previous history of the turbo machines. We need to start our design procedure with these kind of diagrams. Then the first step is designing the inlet infler uh, the, uh, in, in impler sections. So I did here. I did here impler. Then here I need the iteration. Here is iterations. Then design check the Mach number, peripheral Mach number, relative Mach number are checked. Impler outlet. <coughs> Here is the design of Impler outlet. <clears throat> then, this is another iterative process. Then, brainless diffuser. This is a very, very, very challenging part. The vein diffuser, the vein diffuser. And after that, I, I calculate efficiency. Again, I need to have an iteration of big loop. Then we have to calculate the pressure ratio again. If the pressure ratio is not same, I need another iteration to keep the same all of them. 
then design check <coughs> Impler outlet this is all we repeated again so let me to run the calculations what's going to be happen here okay here all the things which is calculated here this is the hop and mid and tip with considering three sections impeller inlet uh, volumetric flow rate density static temperature a static pressure this is the blade angle impeller outlet windless diffuser outlet wing diffuser outlet and here is the final results the pressure ratio is 2.21 with impeller efficiency 0 0.90 and stage efficiency 0 0.89 89 percent thank you very much for uh, watching this video just don't forget to subscribe to us have a nice day.